This here, this here's my bike. But we're not gonna be talking about this bike today. We're actually gonna be talking about this bike. This is my first e-bike and right off the bat, let me just tell you that I did not buy this bike. This was sent to me uh, by Rave in exchange for a review. So I'm going to show you the unboxing. I think they did with the boxing to make sure that your bike, if you decide to buy it, arrives to your house in the best condition possible. I'm also going to show you some footage of, uh, of obviously of me riding it and talk a little bit about my first impressions uh, with the bike. this thing yeah um, it is uh, raves base model uh, e-bike they have two models I believe currently this is the bullet and this is a commuter cruiser bike it's not intended it's not designed it has no extreme um, capable components is gonna fall off um, it, it comes off the box um, at a max speed of 20 but you can unlock it and I'll show you how to do that so how to unlock it and give yourself an additional uh, five miles per hour on this thing so in the mode or the mode button here press and hold for a couple of seconds toggle press it again to just go to the next setting uh, once you get to PD here, uh, yes, password, so go one, then go uh, mode to get you to the second number, and then go nine, 
mode again, one, nine, mode, and then that gets you um, into the uh, setting here, which is gonna be this one, speed limit, I believe that is, uh, 25, and that is the, uh, the max. You can set it to go down. Obviously, I don't think you'd wanna do that, um, but yeah, and that's it. It won't let you go any further. Then you just hold it for a couple of seconds again, and it logs it in. So yeah, let's uh, uh, let's do a bike check, I guess, um, and start right at the front here. So you got some pretty beefy um, tires here. I I do ride mountain bikes, right? So I. I know a thing or two about suspension and um, again this is this isn't anything high-end uh, but it does work I've gone off the curb with this thing and uh, taken it off-road and it actually handles okay You can you can feel it um, do its thing but it's definitely nothing uh, high-end the light here it's actually pretty cool it's actually pretty bright the one thing about it though is that it does not turn with with your steering so you could be you know making a turn and the light is just gonna continue to point forward or light up your path ahead of you as opposed to where you're going. Not, not a big thing, right? So just something uh, worth pointing out. The brakes, I don't even know if they are um, any particular brand, but they are mechanical brakes. And if there's one thing that I am going to upgrade here pretty soon, um, are gonna be the brakes. Uh, let's see if we can go on the sidewalk. Ah. Uh, that, it, it's a hard tail, so there's no shock in the back. And that fork, well, there it is. Now it's 25. Well, it says 27, 28. Oh, dang. Woo! 30. Okay, so I don't know that it actually reached that. Maybe it did, um, but that felt pretty fast. That's when I start worrying about the brakes because um, I want to make sure that they actually um, respond, right? Should I need them to? Um, I did make a mistake here. I over tightened the bolt here um, simply because I'm used to mountain bikes and the components on the mountain, on the mountain bike um, at least the brakes there. It's a it's a metal clamp. This is plastic. So I ended up um, Cracking it. So I got a zip tie here. I'm um, holding it together. The shifter is a seven speed Shimano, which is a good thing I find that It's not a single speed like some of the other e-bikes that I've seen Should you run out of battery, right? Uh, and more than likely it's gonna happen at some point in time. You got a range of gears here um, that can help you get back to your car, get back home. So far, again, uh, based on the mileage that I've already put on this thing, um, it shifts rather smoothly, no issues with that whatsoever. The design, I love the design of this bike in that it's got a retro throwback look. The, the seat here is super, super comfortable. It's long enough to where you can, depending on the size of the folks riding this bike, uh, you could potentially seat uh, a passenger. The battery, you got your plug-in port here. You got your on and off button here. Um, there, it does come with a USB, it looks like, uh, port. I haven't gotten that far uh, to figure out what it's intended for. 
It is a 500 watt hub geared motor and it puts out 55 Newton meters of torque. And then here is the actual display. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. You got a mode button here, and then you got a power button. You press it for like a couple of seconds, and then it turns on. Uh, let me just turn the uh, front headlight on. You press and hold the, the plus sign. I'm sure you can probably see it there. It's got a, a trip meter here. So average miles per hour, 12. Maximum miles per hour, 36. I was going downhill. I've logged 82, that's my odometer. So 82 miles. When you're riding it, you can start off on zero. You're just pedaling, you're not gonna get any assist. Uh, you go to one, and I think this one goes up to 12 miles an hour, two, 16 miles an hour, and then you go to three, and it takes you to 20, unless you've unlocked it to get that additional five miles an hour, and it'll take you to 25. Again, this is not intended to be a, an off-road extreme um, e-bike, but it is a very, very comfortable if you're looking for something um, to commute with. If you're camping, ride it around. Should be tons of fun. Take it to the beach. I can definitely see that being a whole lot of fun and that's actually in the works. Morning rides like I did the other day. Just head out and just go for a nice, really super easy, super chill um, cruise. And it is a ton of fun. of range 25 miles on full throttle uh, that's according to the website which I'm gonna link it in the description um, I did test it I didn't quite go 25 miles 16.9 miles uh, battery indicator uh, says two bars and it was on throttle only no pedal assist whatsoever in terms of how I feel on the bike, I feel comfortable. I'm five foot nine, by the way. I'm 180 pounds um, in the morning. You know, acceleration as well as top speed and max range will vary. The one thing that could make this bike or this e-bike a whole lot more fun um, is the second one. I, uh, my son can take this one and I can take the other one. Two is a whole lot more fun than one. A bike retails for $13.99 US dollars, which I think is a steal. Granted, Rave is a, a newer brand, but um, just judging, you know, from their website, their interaction uh, through social media, Instagram, as well as Facebook, um, and the communication via email that I've gotten with them. I've grown to trust them. Um, hopefully they won't let me down um, because I'm really, um, really, really happy with the, uh, with the bike that they put out. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Um, all the information that I have on this e-bike is listed down below. Ask me any questions. Uh, definitely um, grateful for any feedback that you leave. Um, and then I'll see you on the next one. Until then, God bless. Ride your own ride.